what is going on YouTube and welcome back to your tutorials and in this tutorial we are going to be talking about building a simple calculator or building a basic calculator now we've learned so many things about QBasic we've learned how to take input from users we've learned what the expression is we've learned how to output uh, information to the screen so we are going to be using this idea to build a simple calculator that will ask the users to do what? Impute a number and if they enter any number it's going to add the numbers and print out their result. It's going to also multiply and perform anyway the basic arithmetical calculations. So let's get started. The first thing you need in your program which is not compulsory is what? A RAM statement. See, building, building a basic basic calculator then what you need to do is to impute impute uh, num1 ok let me just format it very well impute first number first number then I'm going to call it uh, num1 num1 then uh, we have uh, the next one impute second number I'm going to call it num2 command there please num2 Now you know that in a calculator, you know, let me just get a calculator first to demonstrate it. Now, if you notice in this calculator now, you cannot type more than you cannot type more than one number at a time. Like you cannot say nine plus nine plus. It will just it, what you to do is to add the numbers and print it first before you now add another one. So that is the same thing you are going to do here so let's get started so what we are going to do is to take the num1 and the num2 sorry num2 here I'm, go I'm going to add it I'm going to say the sum equals num1 then plus num2 then uh, let me say multiply mult let me say mult for multiplication equals num1 multiply by num2 then subtraction is going to be sub equals num1 minus num2 then uh, okay I think it's giving me this because it needs a bracket here and also you need oh, why am I getting this you declare a variable placement. the reason is because when you subtract uh, num1 with num2 it's going to it may, the number may be a very small number like the, the number may be minus or maybe a minus number or like maybe minus 2 minus 3 so you need to specify the kind of variable you are doing what you are working with why other other ones are just normal integers because you didn't specify any variable so I urge you to spec specify a variable here and you won't get that error then uh, the next one is division so I'm going to call it D if is equals to uh, num1 num1 voila, divided by num2 so then you are good to go then you just print out the the sum of the sum of the two numbers are comma you just call it sum then the next one print 
Aris Ouch The sum Sorry The product which is for multiplication Of the two Numbers Are Just add your variable here, not then you say print the put in a double column or double quotation mark the difference see the difference what the hell is going on my keyboard is disturbing uh, the difference is between I'm going to put slash between the two numbers two numbers uh, make sure you spell everything correct though. if not it don't work <laughs> so and then your percentage sign helps. Are you seeing that error? There is no comma there. Then the next one is print the quotient. Quotient. Quotient of the two. What is going on? Two numbers so I think there's an N so, so you have this now so you run your program and see what you've got so there's no errors right no error so what you do is to enter the ah my voice just cracked what sorry for that so what we did here is to do or declare your input statement as a enter first number the first number will be stored in num1 then the second number will be stored in num2 then you declare another variable call it sum and you, you are you express it or you enter an expression here which will return a value and the value will be stored in what sum the same thing is applicable here now when you get to subtraction the reason why we use a specific uh, variable here which we've learned in our previous tutorials are what is the, the reason is because when you subtract a number the number may be in a negative form or may be in a positive form so the computer don't know the numbers or you don't know the form that the number is going to come with so that is the reason why it's access is asking us to specify a what a variable that will be able to contain either minus or addition so that's why we have this and maybe you can remove the brackets to see get the same thing so we're going to enter 10 for the first one then the next one we're going to enter 50 so you do what enter your result so as you can see here your numbers are what 10 and 50 if you do 10 plus uh, 50 you are going to be getting 60 and if you do 10 times 50 you are going to be getting 500 and if you do 10 minus 50 of course you are going to be getting a negative sign which is what minus 40 so that is the reason why we use what this variable uh, sign here so that the computer can contain the negative sign and the positive sign so if you do uh, I think 10 divided by 10 divided by 50 you'll be getting so you'll be getting 0 0.2 but the reason why we are not seeing that zero is because we did not declare a variable to catch our floating points. We only declare an integer variable. So the zero point something will just go out and it will remain point two. So anyways, this is how you build your basic calculator in QBase. You may improve on this by asking the user to enter three numbers, asking the user to enter four numbers, and you do what? You apply your formatting like this 
by saying the sum of the two numbers are and the rest. So I recommend you to just settle down, type these codes by yourself and test run it by yourself. By so doing, you are learning programming. And don't forget to subscribe. See you.